All right, so uh, pulled a couple of logs out of the pile. One of them has got metal in it. Uh, I dug in with my hatchet. Got a couple screws out. I'm still picking up some metal. So I want to take a top cut on that metal side because I can only find it in one spot. That's kind of thick and hope I miss everything, but I want to do that with an old band. Got a resharp band on silver tip turbo seven. That's, you know, right straight out of the zip tie. I don't want to waste that on that one if I hit something. So let's mill this oak log and let's see how fast we can get through it. It's uh, on the small end here. It's uh, 12 inches. So this should cant out. And it's 11 inches up. It should cant out at 9.6, I think, if you do the math at 70%. So we're going to try to so, somewhere around there. Uh, this is horns up too. So I might only get nine out of it. So if I got like uh five quarter by eight, that would be good. So that's kind of what I'm going to shoot for is five quarter boards by eight inches wide. This log isn't very long. It's got a butt cut in it too. So let's just call it, let's call it six, six. Um, I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can. And let's see if I can get five quarter by eight inch wide boards out of it. So let's fire up and let's see if we can rip this one down. So somewhere around 11, we'll just take it off at 11. All right, so what happened was the log shifted. This is why you hate doing shorties. The log shifted and bound me up. Let's try it again. I'm going to try and take it off. Well, let's try it at 11 again, see if we can recut it. Flip it over. It's a pretty decent cut off the top. Band is like so sharp. <laughs> so a little bit, <coughs> this log's a little dirty too. See where my so I'm at six, almost seven. I want to get these down to about four. I'm not going to go below four. I'd like to set my width at eight or just a slightly over eight, just in case. And I got to get some of this dirt off. It's filthy. Son of a bitch. 
So I can already tell I'm going to charge this guy a band fee, bringing dirty logs. I can tell you if you don't want a band fee, then clean your own logs. I'm not going to clean logs at 100 bucks an hour. It's kind of like when people bring me chainsaws that are just filthy and they just cost themselves an arm and a leg for me to clean them just to be able to work on them. All right, so let's see where we can take it off here. Should be somewhere around. Ten, probably closer to nine because it flares down there. Take it off at ten first. Come down to nine. Now we'll flip her on our side. This is actually a perfect way to take this off here. This one up just a little bit like that. This one up just a little bit. Like that. Get it square. Take the top off it. Oh. You can go low on the dog here. Okay, the top off it. It's gonna be somewhere around eleven. Try to eleven. Now let's check our width. I'm at nine. I got a little bit of way in both ways. Um, 
If I take one five quarter board off, I get it off of here. No, he doesn't mind. I think I'm just going to flip this straight over and mill it out. As big as I can get it for him. I could change some things up here to get rid of the wain, but he likes this shit slab. So there's no reason to try to get too crazy with this. Put these down to the bottom. Probably should have done that before I flipped it, huh? And what we'll do is we'll set five quarter scale, scale off the top and rip it into pieces. So at five quarters, inch and a half, I mean inch and a quarter, is three and a half plus an eighth is and 5H should be on scale. And then get my 5 quarter scale of that. That's my blue scale, inch and a quarter. Set my top line there. That should be right, inch and a quarter. Oh no, two, it's two. Two and a half, three and three quarters plus two eighths it should be four. That should go down to two and a half. That should be inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter and eight. So that next one should be should be five, I think. I'm going to do it wrong for math, but inch and a quarter. Sorry. Math's got me. Alright, there's inch and a quarter on five quarter scale, so what's two? Oh yeah, five, two and five eighths. Yep, that's right. Okay. So let's get up to about ten. And then, stay out of the mud. So this cut's going to be somewhere around nine. So let's just go nine and a half is on scale on inch of, on five quarter scale so let's do it then that's one's right what
Get this top board off and I can cut the bottom cut. And as long as we're less than an inch and a half on the bottom, we're all good. This cut should be at inch and a quarter. And then we'll check it out. couple things. Uh, I forgot to turn my water on, so I actually milled that log dry. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of what we got. I actually milled that log dry. That's what I get for shooting videos. I'll spread these out when you take a look at them. Five quarter red oak. And we'll do some measurements too and see how all that came out, but everything went great, cut really smooth. That's probably the first time I've ever milled the log dry. Beautiful. Really nice. Stupid little knot thing there. Some beautiful rays in this one. Wicked rays in this one. This one's beautiful. Show you these two. Show you these two, and really in those cuts, I'm able to go as fast as I want with those turbo sevens. Look at that. Tiger stripes in those, boy. Ooh. Ooh. 
Look at that. That's wicked. Wicked little boards. Beautiful. Lots of rays in them. This one's got some rays in it. It's hard to see right now, but some rays right here. If I can see through my viewfinder, it'd be great. Some nice figure. Let's uh, just pull the rest of them off so we can. Oh, God, this tripod is killing me. Oh, yeah, it got great reviews. Yeah, thing's a piece of junk. Spread them all out. We can take some measurements. An inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter. The bottom one's the one that I would really care about to make sure I'm milling inch and a quarter on the bottom. Oh, those are awesome. This one's beautiful. And like I've said before, when you mill an oak, you do really want to get sawdust off them just so that you don't have any black staining in them. Man, it's gorgeous. So you don't get any black staining in them from the band. Nice inch and a quarter, and the bottom one that's the one. Now, I know it's inch and a quarter because I have no hump here, it's perfect right across. So I know it's inch and a quarter. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, so. Just give you a quick overview. This one's got a few. I'm going to flip this one over because it's got a few better rays on the other side. Actually, I need to clean this side up. bit of rays on the side. Flip this one. This one's got a little bit of weight on it. Actually, I don't have to worry about that. So, four. Let's see what he's got for time. 24 minutes. So for a $30 log, you got beautiful rays in this one. Gorgeous rays in that one, rays in this one. Just beautiful little pieces. See the rays all around there. I wish I could see better through this thing. So rays all around there and there. Nice little red oak boards. Five quarter. Going with his pile over there. You guys say bye to Danny. Hi, Danny. And, uh, yeah. That, so that's what that those roller guys give us, guys. You can go at that speed. Uh, mill an oak log out that quick. I mean, what do you even say at this point? Don't even know what to say at this point. Absolute home run. So I'm going to get these put away, and uh, whether I shoot another video or not, I'm not sure. I am not going to mill that metal log. Uh, take a look at what else he has over there. 
see if I can uh, get another one up here. Maybe we'll get another one up here, mill another one. Not sure yet. I'm kind of kind of frazzled at the end of my rope here today. I don't know why. I just don't feel like doing anything. So we'll see. Maybe I'll see you again in a minute. Spiral Solutions out.